so in this video we will create this nice rotating image gallery right so you can see we have this image and you can rotate this image in your way by clicking these two button no it will automatically rotate so here we have around eight image you can add image as you want so let's implement this one I'm going to create three file for this one and also I have this image you can see I have all the image here inside my resource folder so I'm going to create one file for the HTML index.html then after script dot js file for the javascript and one for the css right? style style dot css right so now we have three file i'm going to add html content so we'll generate bold operate code by pressing asterisk and tab key in the vs code so this will be rotation rotating image gallery all right so first i'm going to create a division inside this this division i'm going to add my image right so we'll give class name image container then after here i'm going to add another span tag and inside this span tag we'll add our image so image src will be dot slash resource folder pick one dot jpg relevant will be i'm going to give title for this one so image it will be image okay so for this image span tag we will add the style so i'm going to add inline style so we will do this number for the rotation calculator as a one so we will add our eight image right so i have eight image inside this folder i'm going to add all these eight image here so we'll take a copy of this one and we'll paste it eight times right so here this one is first one this one will be a second one then pick 2.jpg 3 picture 3 like that i'm going to change all the pictures right so i have added all the pictures i am going to load this one in the live server we will open this inside the live server right now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 image okay so now here you can see we need to add two button so i am going to add two button here for this one so after this division we will add two button division class name we will give as a button container inside this button container class I am going to add two button with the class name button and id will be preview button then we will add the next button again class name button id will be next all right so now we have added two button and eight images so we'll connect our script file also the script src will be dot slash script dot js file i'm going to connect my style sheet also then after we we'll let our css style link css will be style dot css right so we have these two button then now we have this image right okay we'll move into the style sheet for the body section i'm going to give a 
we need to give height as a hundred viewport height then it, it will align all the content into the center of the screen you can see this align into the center I'm going to give a background color as uh, okay. We'll keep white color, right? Then overflow content will be hidden. So, then after we have image container, so we are using 200px, 200px container for each and every image respective lose thousand px So we'll give these two values using JavaScript, right? We'll change this value using JavaScript. I'm going to add transition delay for the transform 0 0.7 second. Rotate y axis. I'm going to give we'll calculate the value into 45 degree. Translate from the z around 400 px. Okay, so now we have this content right. Inside the image container, we have span tag. After that, we have image tag, right? So, position will be I'm going to give top also zero, then not will give width as a hundred percent for this one and. It should be semicolon, right? Okay, so I'm going to give border radius for this one. Border radius into 5 px. Right, so that is somewhat okay. Then after we have button content, that means we have two button. So we are going to add this style for these two button. So my class name is button container then of the button. Width will be eighty percent. Then after for the button position will be absolute from the bottom we will give minus 80 px let's see background color I'm going to give as orange red color and font color will be white so we'll add padding top and bottom padding will be 10 px left and right padding will be 20 px then after again for the button for the radius will be 5 px I'm going to remove the border border will be none 
it should be 23x right then I will change this into the pointer right so I'm going to then have effect also for this one we lose change the brightness into 1.5 and for these two button preview button left will be 20% and we have next right button next button it will be for the right side 20% So I'm going to add flex direction as a column here. So then now we will move this one into the left side, right? So I'm going to move this one into the left side. That means my preview button right it should be preview okay now it is fine we have these two button now we let the functionality to rotate this one using javascript right right so we let our javascript for this one i already connected this file here script.js now this is our final output i'm going to add automatic rotation and manual rotation when I click these two button so for that I need to get the ID of the image container we lose query right document dot query selector our class name is image image container okay let's check our class name image container all right so then after i'm going to get the previous element id then after next element constant next element So I'm going to create two variables at x equal to zero and time also zero. Then for the previous element, when you click, I'm going to clear the time value when you click this one and we'll call method update update image so you create this method also then if you click next element on that time also This time x will be x minus 45 right then again clear time out okay we have created the function update image 
next container dot style dot I'm going to add transform which will be equal to backtick not respective will be 1000 px and rotate y value will be X variable that means we have added based on the button x minus 55 or plus 55 number of degrees right then after timer will be set timeout And I'm going to set timeout for this one 3000 millisecond. Okay, we'll call this method update image. Okay, so now we have this nice effect. You can see these images are rotating when I click on this button. So we have used simple CSS and JavaScript to get this effect. So here you can see this is our JavaScript code. Then after we have our two button that means preview element and next element button. For that one we have used this script right, and also we are rotating based on the button click by passing this x variable that means number of degree right so it will be plus 45 degree when you click previous when you click next it will be minus 45 degree right so i will share this code as a github file in the video description you can find the link and you can download freely code for this project right we will meet with the new web mini project